This is another of the world championship matches that you see here on International Wrestling Films presentation from time to time. Lou Fez, lad just walking into the ring, and Ruffy Silverstein, an athlete who made quite a name for himself at the University of Illinois in amateur athletic circles and in professional uh, athletic circles. He was a boy who played a lot of professional footballs, football rather, with the Chicago Bears and uh, later with the old New York Giants. So I think that you'll find this match one of the most interesting that you've watched in a long while. This is that father in the corner with him here. Lou is a fellow who's in his middle 30s, been wrestling ever since he was about 16 years of age. Since uh, winning the Alliance Heavyweight World Championship, Lou has defended his title in the neighborhood of, I think this is the 165th time. He's wearing a belt under his robe here tonight. We may or may not be able to get a close-up of it. One thing about Ruffy Silverstein, I think you'll notice when you see him, if you're an old boxing fan, you may remember Mickey Walker, toy bulldog, they used to call him. Uh, Ruffy has a great resemblance to him. Craggy brows, rather broad face. Let's see what the ring announcer is going to do here. Ruffy's dishing out autographs over here, but they're gross. Billy is the referee on this match here again tonight. He's watching these boys examining their body for excessive oil. They all wear uh, a little oil preparation which is made up of a very fine high-grade mineral oil and a combination of antiseptics uh, to prevent map burns. These men, when they take after each other, quite often come up in the old days, at least, it used to happen with some terrific mat burns. You know when you were a kid and fell down on a, on a concrete walk and burned your knees or your elbows, or maybe if you were a boy and played basketball, you used to fall on a wax gymnasium floor. Ooh, you could leave some terrible burns, and that's exactly what happens in the wrestling business. So when these lads put this oil on their body, uh, they're always, there's, there's the belt that Lou's wearing. A gorgeous thing that costs some ten thousand dollars. It's made of solid gold, silver, and diamonds. One of these nights, I'm going to stick the cameraman on it for you and uh, get a real, honest to goodness close-up of it. Well, we're off and going in another World Heavyweight Championship match in the wrestling business. Ruffy Silverstein is in the light trunks. Thez is the taller of the two. Here you'll see the finest wrestling in the world, bar none. Both of these fellows like the attack or the offensive side of things. Seldom if ever will they go on the defense. There's an arm lock falling. Ruffy's made it into a single outside wrist lock. We'll get a look at it here in a minute if they happen to change a little bit. 
Count of two on Lou. There's that single out sock. Name describes it, but beautifully. Let's see if Ruffy's changing here. He may go to an inside wrist lock. Oh, he didn't, but he got himself into a grade A head scissors. These great long legs of fezes he uses with with great efficiency. Ruffy got out over the ropes there and trying to pivot out of that. When you wrestle Fez, you have to keep your head up every foot of the way. Because he's after you all the while. The referee orders him to break. He always breaks cleanly. Here's a waist lock. But a pickup on Silverstein's part has put him into a toho. <laughs> Lou was trying to counter there with a... Reverse chin press. Ruffy's working, using every bit of knowledge he has here for this heavyweight championship of the world bout. He'd love to wear that belt. Both of these boys generally conduct themselves in an exemplary manner. In other words, they're gentlemen from beginning to end. With the exception of the fact that, uh oh, here's a hammerlock going on Silverstein. He's had to drop his toe hold. Fez has doubled up on this hammerlock. He lost it. Still trying for it, but they're out from under. Notice Fez how cleanly he breaks. Fez can work an opponent over with a simple thing that he uses. If you're a fan of his, you'll know it. See, there it is, right there. Talk about old Satan and up he jumps. He sometimes tries to make an opponent lose his head by slapping or using the point of his elbow, as he did there. See how he crowds? He never gives you an instant's rest. Lou! He knows in handling Silverstein that he's got one of the top contenders for the right to wear that belt. There's a headlock on Fez. That was ripped. So he may very well try and bait Ruffy here tonight. Ruffy has an ungovernable temper when he does lose it. He can't handle it at all. Never can seem to collect himself once he's lost his temper. Another headlock ripped. Almost every time Fez wrestles, here at International Films, you'll see him in defense of his title. He works around the country a good deal. But his only title defenses are in St. Louis, in Chicago, the major cities around the country. Uh-oh, there was a kangaroo right in under Silverstein's chin. It rather made him angry. There's a headlock. Billy's cautioning Fez here. These boys will all use their fists when they think they can get away with it. Billy's asking for a clean break. Fez wants to go right back to wrestling. Out of the way down there, customers. Well, Ruffy got out of there on his head. But he's back in business again. Lou had himself a wrist lock and used this head scissors on the kip. Let's 
see if Ruffy can spring this thing. He'll try one of three different things. A flail kick. Oh, ooh. This method or a twist to get out of it. He has little regard for his neck or his ears. He's trying to come over on it. There he made it. There goes Fez baiting him again, trying to get him to lose his temper. Crowd's wanting Ruffy to throw Lou over the top rope. Hey, now, wait a minute. Lou's taking no chances with Silverstein at all tonight. This is the second time in this current year that Silverstein has met Fez for this belt. There's a headlock on Lou. Another breakup being called for here. I think that Fez tonight is treating Silverstein with, with more respect than I've ever seen him give any man. Mm, that was a nasty rip. Lou has a lot of height. Here's a shoulder stand, however, on him. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> but Billy's almost convinced he did. And I'm inclined to agree with Billy a little bit here. And Lou's roughing up in this headlock. Still hanging on to it. No, no, I hit him with my open hand, says Thad. What's the referee? Can I roughly give a damn? One, two. And they're onto the ropes again. Come on, Ruffy, let's go, Ruffy. There's a headlock on Ruffy. Boy, yelling, give it to him, Ruffy. Uh, well, he's giving it to him at long last. But he's back on the receiving end again here. Ruffy tried for a falling arm lock, but missed it on the way down. There's an arm lock with a four. There's a head scissors on him again. One, two is the count of, ooh. There's his head really came in sharp contact with that mat then. Despite the fact it has the regulation padding underneath it, it's still no fun. One, Ruffy stayed out of it that trip. Using a body press here. There's a kangaroo. This is berating Billy here for not getting out of the way fast enough. Well, what can happen here? Lou can get a rabbit punch. Headlock. Why should he back up, Lou? You haven't backed up all evening. There's a headlock on Thez again. Was ripped then. Give it to him, Ruffy. Poor one plaintive little voice calling, Give it to him, Ruffy. He chooses neither time nor place to utter it. it seems to be automatic with him. 
There's a switch on the headlock. That's like sticking your head in the thrashing machine when that happens to you. Either that or getting your head caught in one of these taffy pullers they used to keep in the candy store windows. Still a headlock on Thez. You can see Lou roughing Silverstein in the face there. One time I call Ruffy Silverstein, the next time Stein. People pronounce it both ways. I don't know what his personal preference is. I've never heard him state it. But Silverstein or Stein, he's still a toughie. Onto the ropes with him. Mm, that was a nasty check. That one left Fez right on the floor. Another one. Ruffy's right back at his headlock with a rip. We've got a capacity crowd here tonight. Thirteen thousand people. See Fez roughing there. It was an open-handed slap, fortunately. There's another one. What a drop kick. There's the press. One, two, three. And the first fall of this World Heavyweight Championship wrestling bout has thusly gone to Luthez over Ruffy Silverstein. We have two more of them, possibly or potentially, to go. And a max or a minimum of one more should Fez win the next one. Ruffy is really dazed by that drop kick. Listen to him, Boo Fez. They're handing it to him. He's still not too busy or too much taken down to not sign an autograph. What's all this powwowing for? This match started what a terrific resemblance Ruffy Silverstein had to Mickey Walker. Well, look at it here. All he needs is gloves. Here we go for the second fall of this world championship bout in the heavyweight division between Lou Fez, reigning heavyweight champion, and Ruffy Silverstein, the challenger. Fez took first fall with a drop kick and the body press. Needless to say, Ruffy is just a little bit angry about this whole affair. And he's turning it on now. It's exactly what Fez wanted him to do, was lose his temper. It's a headlock. Billy's trying to make him break it up. Two, three. There's a full Nelson. This is Silverstein's submission hold. He can make the most bull necked guy in the world rue the day he got into this one. Look at him, he's just whipping Fez here like a rag doll. Onto the ropes and it'll have to be broken up. It was a hard punch then. Fez saying that it was open handed, but I doubt it.
crowd would much lay like to see Ruffy put Lou out over the top ropes on his head, I think. There's a flying mare. Uh-oh, knee lift. Ruffy looked right straight into that one. There's a headlock on him now. The argument between Lou and Billy is whether or not he's using his fist, and that time it looked as though he had it doubled up when he brought it past his side where we could see it. He did have it. Billy's breaking it up. Ruffy's face is beginning to get a little puffed up. A little trace of blood at his nose here from all this pounding he's taken in the face. Going to dish out some of it himself, however, it looks like. More headlock. Oh, did you see Fez miss that drop kick? One, two. There's a double arm lock, reversed and posted, and here's the body press. Two, three, and the second fall goes to Ruffy Silverstein. So now we've got a fall apiece in this World Heavyweight Championship bout. Fez didn't like to have that fall taken away from him. I rather suspect he wanted to get this match over with. Hey, fellas, you're starting kind of previous here, aren't you? Now Fez is complaining because of Silverstein's tactics. I don't know why he should at this stage of the game. That ear of Silverstein's taking it from the point of Fez's elbow. The broad arm lick. Talk about your powerhouses. Both of these guys are, each in a different physical type of build. There was an arm lock kipped. Out. Did you hear that pop? Ruffy has a reversed headlock here. There's more of that tantalizing. Lou has resisted in that all evening. Waist lock. It will have to be broken again. Hey, hey, fellas. Wait a minute. Well, as much as he had him halfway out, there's no use not throwing him all the rest of the way. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> Flying mare. An arm scissor short. See what Ruffy is going to do with it. Needless to say, Fez wants to trade it in on a new one. Hmm. Count of one on Fez. Fez is trying to unlock this arm scissors. Second time in a row he failed. going to try and take him for a ride, but I think he's fouled up. Uh, he's lost his leverage. Fez had a knee right in Silverstein's mouth there. <laughs> there was your arm scissors short, nipped under. And it'll have to be broken up. He 
Poiser sat here tonight. They're both playing for keeps, and there's no doubt. Look at the ringsiders break and run here. You get these 250 pounders out in their laps, they don't want any part of them. That one caught Fez right on the eyes. The broad arm lake. One, two, three, four, five. Headlock ripped. And back onto the ropes again. All right, I'll break it up. Yeah. His lower mandible. Hey, uh, uh Ruffy. That's the hoi polloi you're trying to associate with there, boy. Can't get him with one try, he'll try it the next time. Spez gonna let him back in, that's a problem. This is supposedly a crushed chin lock that Fez has here by the four. It was actually a stranglehold. There's a headlock. That kind of treatment is rough, people. You lose an awful lot of teeth in an affair like that. Look out, there's that flying body press of Fez's. One, two, three. And Lou Fez is still the reigning world heavyweight champion. Ruffy Silverstein came within a fall of wearing the belt, but he didn't quite make it. So there's Thez's hand held high in signification of the fact that he's won the match, still keeps the championship. Ruffy shook hands with him.